Good Thursday morning. Out here to mow, waiting for Pete to come. The grass needs it bad, man. It needs it. We mow way too much for just what little club we have. My suggestion is that we just mow from here over and then over there just mow our boundaries. But no, they don't want to do that. They're worried about when we have events. But heck, our last fly-in was a pretty good fly-in for our small club and everybody parked in this section that I pointed out anyway. It's about 8, 8.15. I'm supposed to meet Pete here at 8. He said he was going to be here at 8.30. It's already, it's already hot. This might be the hottest day of the summer so far. I get a mow. <laughs> That's all right. I got my cool clothes on. Get a little sweat. This is a fun plane, man. Hacker XL. Time remaining six minutes. This is for you, Del Cheeks. If you watch the videos anymore, I haven't seen you on my videos. You comment on I post something in RC groups, but I'm not going to post this in RC groups. <laughs> I like RC groups, a good group of people there. I've met a few of them. Met some of them at Perry. Hey, you're see me do. And if he's coming. I like this plane, man. A bunch of us at the beach, we had these little profile planes. We used to go up and fly together and stuff. It's kind of neat. Not much of a breeze. It's not supposed to be very windy today. I, like I said, man, like I say all along, the temperature gets up, up in the 90s towards 100, man. You can't buy a breeze. Ooh, ooh, that's not good. I had to look down at the ground and just fly out of the sun. But I put it right in the sun. Man. Of course, he's got a, I don't know, he keeps the mower in his trailer. And this Saturday, we're supposed to build a, uh, build a shelter to put the mower in. I think it's a dumb idea, but because the UV will tear this, one of those uh, Harbor Freight portable buildings man I've seen people out you know on the roads where I, we drive to the beach a couple a guy has got to put a couple of those up I don't even think it lasted six months for this UVs burned a hole in it but we're gonna put we're gonna keep buying a tarp to put over the top of it I don't know how the tarp will block the UV rates but man I, I used bungees on my sail my sailboat you know, my hunter sailboat for different things to, you know, like wrap the sails when I was storing them and stuff. And one thing I discovered that if you coated a bungee with sunscreen, you know, just took it and rubbed sunscreen on it, it, it would last the whole, it would last like two seasons. Where if you didn't treat a bungee with sunscreen, you'd be lucky to get a season out of it. I like using bungees just for different things, you know. I mean, um, like the my main sheet that you pull the the halyard that pulls the sail up on the mast. You know, like when you're when you're in the dock, when you're at dock, 
you've got the mast tied to the boom and the halyards can slap the mast man and drive people in the marina absolutely nuts because <laughs> i was the only sailboat in the marina but just you know put a bungee on the boom to hold, keep it away from slapping the mast and then made every, everybody happy I've got a hacker motor in this man. I got I got it's way overpowered for 3S man. But and I normally use a bigger prop. I'm out of my big props. I busted them. Doing stupid stuff like flying into the sun. There's the trees, Eric. <laughs> Eric Quinn. <laughs> Poor guy, man. No safe. Got a got an old lemon on this. No gyro. I don't know why you'd want to drive on a plane like this. Throwing 100% throws. There's how I busted up right there, <laughs> coming down to the deck. <sighs> Time remaining one minute. Little inverted flight for those of you that don't think I can fly inverted. <laughs> I just don't do it in videos. I just don't do it. To me, it's like, meh. I'd rather I'd rather pull off a good landing. I think that's more of a show of a good pilot than how long you can fly inverted. As long as you remember to push. Oh, the breeze is coming from the northwest. What little breeze there is. Well, that's the only video I'm going to shoot today, and I don't know when it'll get posted. This is Mo Day. Time has stopped. Time has stopped. Time has stopped. Boom! That's all the landing gear is good for, man, is just a plopper down. But, I don't know, these, the uh, Value Hobby sells a lot of these planes. They have a lot of them that's fairly decent price and they're decent quality. There's my throws, man. I got 100%. I do the, L, the the rudder, but and what's funny on this plane is every single hinge is ripped off, and it's just being held on with foam tack, foam T A C K Woodland Cynics foam tack is what's holding on every control surface on this plane. Ah, well that's why it was flying funny. Oh, the servo pulled out. Ah, that's what happened. Yeah, the servo pulled out. I was like, must have when I plopped her down. Oh well, easy fix, man. I'll use some foam TAK on that. There you go. Out here, Liberty Landing, waiting for Pete. Well, looks like I'm only flying one battery unless I fire up my hot glue gun. A battery operated hot glue gun which I just might do and, and glue that in all right there you have it man your hacker XL Liberty Landing Lower Alabama we need members Jeff and the Sun Tuco at home in the AC thank you for watching subscribe to join team let's go flying with Jeff and Tuco! Woo, 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 woo.